Hey guys, what's up? So today, uh, I've got another um, kind of DIY school bus uh, video. I haven't done one of these in a while, um, but this is something that I want to do with 45, so I figured I'd do a video uh, showing you guys how to do it. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lens off and put another lens on the light. I personally do not like this style of lens. I don't like the way it looks on the bus. So uh, the lens that I've got um, is a little bit different. It's the, uh, I don't know what uh, style you want to call this, but it's, it's textured. It's a little bit more clear than this is. I, I don't like how this is a um, foggy look that makes sense. They also have a clearer version of this, which would be this right here. Uh, you can see it's got the same look, same style, it's even got the same texture on the inside, uh, but this one's a little bit more uh, see-through than this one. Um, but like I said, I really just don't like this style of lens. My plan was originally to get a newer style lens, the lens that actually would have replaced this style. Uh, like what I've got on 66. So basically the lens you'd see on a new CE uh, if it had incandescent reverse lights that were 7 inch. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll explain the tools needed and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to explain here is how these lights are built. So you'll see that there are 8 holes total. So four here and f four here. So how this works is your top and bottom and your side and your side are what actually mount the lens and the backing plate of the lens and the gasket onto the bus. So we don't need to mess with that. What we're looking for are these corner uh, holes for screws. That's what keeps the lens on the mounting plate that is connected to the bus. Say you got a cracked lens or something. All you got to do is take out these four screws and the lens will come off without taking the entire uh, backing plate and light and lens and gasket off the bus. So the one thing though, there is a gasket between the lens and the actual backing plate. So you might have to watch for that because it might try to fall off when you take the lens off. As you can hear, 66 is going into high idle. Let me go disengage that. So anyways, uh, like I was saying, you kind of have to watch for that gasket uh, between the lens and the backing plate. So the tools you will need for this could be one of two things. It could be a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. Most of the time these lenses are going to be held in with a Phillips screw over a flathead. Um, 45 and 3, their taillights. Uh, actually have flathead screws holding them in. I don't know if that was a Wayne thing. I honestly haven't seen flathead screws being used to hold in lenses on a lot of other buses. Normally it's just a Phillips screw. So the other thing I do want to mention is the way this is set up with the screws and the backing plate and the lens and the gasket. It's the same for a reverse light. It's the same for your 7 inch brake lights and turn signals and it's even the same for the warning lights. The warning lights are set up a little bit differently um, when it comes to the backing plate, especially if it's a halogen bulb. These are the older uh, big bulbs, so that's a completely different um, setup, but the screws, the way it mounts, is exactly the same. Um, at some point I will do a video on those just to kind of show you guys how those um, work. Alright, so I've got my Phillips screwdriver. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and start taking these screws off and walk you through the process here. Um, I'm going to make sure that I have my other lens I'm going to put on ready. Um, so that way I don't have to, you know, fiddle for it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And then start once I get it lined up with the screw.
So I've got it on the screw. I'm gonna go ahead and start unscrewing the screw. Let's see. Okay, so this screw should be loose. The one thing to watch for here is when you're doing these screws, they do have a tendency to want to jump out and fall onto the ground. Um, so if you're not doing this in a garage or somewhere where the ground is flat and you can easily find it, uh, just kind of be careful of that. Keep your hand over it. Or, for example, what I like to do is I'll get the screw loose and I'll leave it in there um, until I'm ready to take the lens off. Or sometimes I'll hit it with my hand. I'll cut my hand and hit it and make it bounce out into my hand. Um, but right now I'm just going to leave that in there and work on the uh, next screw. That screw's a little bit tighter than the other one. Sometimes the screw will come out on the actual screwdriver, like it just did there. I'm going to put my screw in this lens that I've got, so that way I can keep track of my screws. Go ahead and get the next one here. Now this one did not come out on the screw, so it's going to stay in the lens for now. So I know, I don't know when exactly, because obviously I don't have my pictures with me of this bus from years prior, but I don't think it always had this style of lens. I think at some point they changed it. So as you can see, it, it came off there, so I'm pulling it slowly. You'll see this is the bulb. Here's the gasket that goes between the lens and the backing plate. So now that I've got the lens off, I'll show you the lens real quick. Here it is. Uh, there's a little bit of water in it, which is to be expected. But here it is. You can see it's kind of dirty from where it's been on the bus. Um, definitely a night and day difference between this one and this one. Um, so, moving on here. I've got all four of my screws in this lens that I'm about to put on the bus. So I've got them ready. Now these lenses will usually have a little place on the top where, let's see if we can get it in there, right under the screw hole it'll say top. So that way you know where the top of the, the uh, lens is. Now you want to line it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one screw in on the bottom. And it should be lined up. Okay, so I've got my bottom screw in. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other bottom screw in there. I'm not gonna make it too tight just yet. I'm gonna get all the screws in before I make it real tight. Now, if you're doing this and you get all your screws in, you do want to make sure that you make it tight. Um, not so tight that it's cracking the lens, but you do want, you don't want it to where there's a gap between the lens, the plastic lens and the uh, metal backing plate. Because then you have an issue of water getting in between the lens and the actual uh, backing plate and you could have a rust issue. Um, when I first got 66, its backing plates for its turn signals were completely rotted from where water was allowed to get in there and it wasn't fixed. So this is on here now. You wanna make sure that when you pull on it, it's not trying to come off. So this is what that looks like as the finished product. Now, this particular lens is gonna be a temporary thing um, I'm still debating, I'm really debating, you know, getting the lenses like what I have on 66, because I do like those better, um, but this style lens does give it the classic look. It's the same style lens that 3 actually has on its reverse lights. The only thing with these lenses is they came off of 59. This lens is not in any way broken, um, so it's fine, but my other lens is cracked in a place and I'm afraid that that's going to let water in. Um, let me find it here and show you. Oh, 
Oh wait. Hold on a second. It turns out I accidentally put the broken lens on first, but uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So on here, right, right where this screw hole is, there's a little crack from where I was taking it off and the screw wouldn't give and it broke a little bit of it. And I'm just concerned that that's gonna let water in there and rust it out um, over time, obviously. It's not just gonna rust. But I don't want that to stay like that for, you know, forever. So that's why I'm also debating just buying a new set of reverse lenses for this. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'll go ahead and set up over there so you guys can see it again. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the driver's side. I've got my lens ready on the ground to hold my screws as they come out. Uh, so again, what you're looking for are the screws in the corners. Those are the ones that are keeping the lens secured onto the actual mounting plate. If you're in the situation where you have to take the entire uh, light off, say you're parting out a bus or you're getting uh, one of these just off a bus for your bus, I don't know. Um, you don't even have to mess with these corner screws. You just want to get the top, bottom, and the two sides off and that will release the part, of course, there's going to be a wire in there that's connecting it in some way uh, that you'll have to either disconnect if it's connected with the connector or uh, cut the wire. Um, the way Wayne's are built, they have a specific backing plate design uh, that's not like any other bus that I've seen. So it's kind of hard, like you, you pretty much have to get a Wayne designed backing plate for it to really uh, work without having to wire the entire thing, um, or rewire, I should say. I mean, really, if you want to, you could probably just uh, go around the backing plate and uh, find a way to re redo the wires uh, in a way that you don't have to worry about having that specific Wayne style backing plate. But personally for me, you know, if I can just get what I need and get it done, uh, that's the better option. Uh, this is being a little pain in the butt, so this might take a second. Can't get the screw. That's another thing I don't want to watch out for is corrosion. Um, if, if water has gotten in there and corroded the screw, I can hear, by the way, it's crunching that there is a little bit of rust between the screw and the gasket. But if that happens, you're gonna have to watch because. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. See, right now, what I'm encountering is the uh, gasket on the lens is sticking to the lens. I kind of have to take it off the lens so that way it doesn't break the gasket. But the backing plate is peeling. Now, it could just be the paint that's on the inside of the backing plate that's peeling, but nope, that's rust. So, this is a good example of what I was just talking about. You kind of have to do this in a way that it doesn't... You'll probably be able to see stuff falling as I do this. I don't know if I can get this off without breaking it. This is the problem that gets encountered uh, by a lot of places where salt... Oh, you can see here that it's literally falling off in my hand. So that's part of the backing plate. Well, let me show you this real quick. The other side was not nearly as bad, but you can really see what I'm talking about here with the rust. So I'm probably gonna have to look at this and, and probably replace it at some point because this is this is this is bad um but you know it's to be expected where i live that kind of thing happens all the time you can see where rust has been forming down here um no bus even a wane is not you know uh, exempt from the hazard of rusting uh even though they were built very well and uh had a better reputation for not really rusting um it's just kind of one of the things that happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this other screw out of the lens. 
um, the other two of the screws fell on the ground, so I need to find those. And then we'll go ahead and try to put the lens on there and see what we can do with it. Alright, so, fun thing that I figured out while I was away from you guys for a minute. The screw that's still in this lens, the part of the backing plate has literally corroded to it, so it's not coming out. Um, so, where that leaves me right now, uh... I haven't tried with this one, so I don't know if it'll come off. I tried the other reverse light to see if I could get it to unmount from the bus to see what kind of connector style it has, so that way I could look into possibly just replacing the entire thing. Um, and as of now, I could not get it to come off. Because uh, I, 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 my guess here is that these are the original reverse lights. Um, so that makes them almost 27-year-old reverse lights. So, I'm guessing that this would not come off without some kind of fight. So, for now, I'm going to put the lens back on it, see what I can do. Um, if I can get it to come off, I think I'm just going to buy brand new reverse lights. Um, and, and try to wire it up. Because I don't, I don't know, I don't know if this is going to have the same style of tail light, like, hook up as 3 does. I'm, I'm assuming it will because this is also a Wayne lifeguard just like 3, but I won't know until I can get one of these off and look at it. Um, I could probably look at one of the lights up here just to kind of compare it. Um, so, I'm going to try putting this on, see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try this, see what happens. I don't know if this is going to mount real well. All right, so I did end up getting this one on here. Um, so pretty much what I figured out is that the backing plates on both sides here are, um, their screws don't want to come out. So for now, I'm probably just going to have to leave it. Um, right now they're both on there, you know, they're secure, um, and they're, you know, doing the function that they need to be doing. Uh, but ideally I would like to eventually replace them. I don't know if I'll be able to, um, but we'll see. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said earlier on, like the lens process here with the changing of the lens and the screws and all that kind of stuff applies to these, 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 those. So um, I hope you learned something. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah.